Welcome back to another episode of Lotus Bob's Garage. And what we're going to talk about today is my TR6. So what could be a greater car for a guy to have than a TR6? When I first saw this back in, I guess it was about 04, I thought, yeah, I got to have a car. I got to have a car just like this one here. Uh, when I saw it, I said, man, this thing is in great shape. The body uh, doesn't have any uh, great amount of rust on it. It's got the roll bar in the back. And I thought, wow, this would be a fantastic car to have. So uh, my daughter and I went back to Lime Rock the second day of the, the uh, Lime Rock Classic weekend, and we bought the car. This 72 TR6 really is a great driver. Whether it's daytime, nighttime, it goes well, it stops well, it goes around corners well, and just, what the heck, parked on the side of the street, it looks fantastic. Front to back, it looks great. The silver stripe I found out uh, at some point in time actually is an actual factory stripe, not something that was added on uh, by a, uh, any previous owner. There's actually uh, pictures of it in books that shows that that silver stripe is factory. As you can see, the top is in very good shape, but let's be honest, who wants to drive around with, in a TR6 with the top up? So top down is the way we normally drive around in the TR6. Uh, I've had this car on the road for uh, quite a while. They haven't really had to do a lot to it. Uh, I'll show you a little bit uh, what I've done with the carburetors, with the exhaust and the suspension, but the body hasn't required any uh, repairs at all, save one small thing in the rear suspension area. I drive this car anywhere that I want to in the summertime. Uh, as you're looking here, you can see that I'm parked outside of a golf course, so that is one of the things that I like to do. The car always gains a lot of attention from people. Uh, when I go places, they have questions about it. They know someone who used to have one. So it's just a great, fun car to have. From any angle, I think this car just looks just great. Uh, it's a, it's a, I mean, I've had people say this, and I can't disagree. It's a manly car. And uh, although I'm sure there are ladies uh, that do drive TR6s, I think you'll find that the majority of TR6 drivers are, in fact, men. The Moda Lita steering wheel is a great addition to the car. The original uh, wheel that's on a TR6 is a little thin. Stromberg carburetors. What can I say? They are, in fact, uh, you know, the, the, one of the default uh, carburetors on British cars, and uh, they do, from time to time, need some work. So I took these, and I cleaned them up, put new jets in them, new, new float bowls, etc., uh, new filters and various things like that. And here's how they look after they've been all cleaned up and ready to go back onto the car. Here are some more views of the car. I'll just shut up and let the car speak for itself for the next few frames. Okay, so what would a TR6 be without a great exhaust note? So one of the things that, that I did at first was I took the exhaust manifold off, the cast iron manifold, and I put on a nice header, and I had it treated with Jet Hot. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, I first did it on my Lotus uh, header because I wanted to make sure that the heat stayed inside of the pipes and not uh, radiating out. So Jet Hot coating on the outside, a great treatment to do for an exhaust. The Jet Hot coating is a ceramic coating that gets uh, baked onto the pipes. It's not a paint. It does a fantastic job of containing heat. And then I put a Monza exhaust on. I read someplace, someone in a TR6 forum said that they thought that the Monza exhaust was a great exhaust, but it was too loud. I said, huh? What's that you said? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it sounds great.
every now and then it's good to put the car up on a lift. This was done before I had a lift of my own. And it's nice to be able to look underneath the car and see that there's really no rust underneath this car at all. The frame is, is very, very solid. The floor pans all very, very solid. I also have always loved the fact that the TR6 is running 15-inch tires. They just look big and meaty on the, the sides of a little car. So when you ask what's a good thing to take along with you when you go for a drive in a TR6, how about a set of golf clubs? These next couple of shots here were taken the day or so that I bought the car back in, I'm pretty sure it was 04. Uh, brought it home. It looked as beautiful as it does now. I haven't had to do anything to the body, the sheet metal, or anything like that at all. Okay, let's talk about rear suspension. Uh, I did go through and I replaced the rear shocks and uh, all of the bushings and various things on the uh, lower uh, suspension arms there. New universal joints all the way through. In this view here, you can see the one area that had a bit of a crack. The right forward uh, IRS mount uh, had a crack on it. And so what we did was we welded in that uh, trapezoid piece that you can see there uh, to stop the uh, damage from going any further. Uh, it, it's worked out well. The thing stopped squeaking, and that's, that's been it. I decided to go with the lever action shocks instead of going with a, uh, uh, like a, a Coney telescopic shock as a replacement. On the front suspension, I put in all new polyethylene bushings everywhere. I put new shocks up front, new uh, ball joints, uh, new bushings, new uh, brake rotors, uh, obviously new pads, etc., so that it would be uh, a good running car. That was my intention all along, was to just have a good, safe running car. I'm just going to stop talking for a while and let you guys see the views and the pictures that I've taken of the car over the uh, few years. Really, the only thing left, I think, to do is eventually to redo the interior. For those of you that are looking in the background there, you can see the subframes to my Jag uh, leaning up the garage wall there. The interior isn't bad. I mean, it's quite serviceable and it works, uh, but it, in terms of having the car be a little bit more finished, a little bit more polished, uh, one of these days I probably will redo the interior. But for now, it's my TR6. I love to drive it. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know how you liked it. Thanks a lot. Bye.